to reevaluate the situation. I didn't know you could see me. Why wouldn't I be able to see you? Nobody else can. Yeah, right. All right. Well, that's stealing, you know. Well, he knows he shouldn't eat this stuff. It makes his face break out. Well, what's your name, anyway? Houdini. Barry. Oh, I guess you were almost named after Harry Houdini. <laughs> that, that's really funny. It's better than being named after Francis Bacon. I don't like Bacon. Well, Houdini is not even a real name. I'm not a real person. I'm an imaginary friend. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's really cute, but I do not have an imaginary friend. Did I say I was your imaginary friend? I don't <laughs> think so, Miss Francis. <laughs> well, if you're not my friend, then why are you following me around? Are you sure I'm following you? Maybe you're just imagining it. No. Uh, seriously, friend. Do you mind if I call you friend? Yeah, actually, I do. I think I must have been sent here to help you. That's probably why you can see me. Oh, you know, I don't need any help, real or imaginary. Oh, contraire. There's something very peculiar going down in this burg, Watson, and it looks to me like you're in the middle of it. Look, I don't care what they said, but I did not egg Mr. Kepler's car. I know you didn't. Okay. I know who did. It was the boogeyman. The boogeyman. 